And I want to thank you and praise you too for your grace and mercies. It brought me through all oh, your grace. brought me through I'm living I'm living this moment because of you and I want to thank you Lord and pray A sinner like me to tell the world salvation is free. Grace, 
your grace. Lord, I thank you for your grace. Hallelujah, your grace. It brought me, brought me through. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your grace and your mercy. Look to somebody say it was God. Come on, look to somebody say it was God. Hallelujah. God, amen. Keep bringing us through. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask you to turn your Bibles, amen, to Colossians, amen, the third chapter. Praise God. Amen. Let's give our choir a hand. Amen. Let's give amen um, um, Sister Hernandez a hand. Amen. And Brother James a hand. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for all of you. Amen. Before Colossians, the third chapter, we're going to start the first verse. Amen. Amen. We thank God for Brother Morgan, amen, amen, praise the Lord. You know, it takes all of us, amen, I say all of us, amen, to make up this church this morning, praise God. Everybody in here is important, amen, to the Lord and to me. A lot of times things happen behind the scene, amen, that you don't know, amen. Me and brother James amen been in prayer amen ever since I came here amen and I thank God that he was led to come back somebody say thank you Lord God is a good God praise God Colossians praise God the third chapter in the very first verse amen and it reads amen everybody have the word amen it says since then you have been raised with Christ Set your heart on things above where Christ is. Sit it at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Amen. You can be seated for a topic and a subject. Look to somebody say, aim high. Come on, look to somebody say, aim high. Amen. Amen. We're living in a time, praise God, that, amen, we must aim high. Praise God. Amen. Your life, amen, may seem to be put back together, but some people, praise God, in the community, praise God, down south, praise God, is still affected, praise God, by the storm. Ian and Nicole, praise God. And we have to encourage our brothers and sisters, praise God, they must continue to aim high, praise God. We have to have the mindset, praise God, that, amen, God before us, nothing can be against us, praise God. Things will come unexpectedly all the time, praise God. But whatever you do, you must aim high. Come on, somebody, praise God. I don't know about you, praise God, but I used to play this game called dots, amen, where you get the little dots in, amen, and you, and you fire at the little board, praise God, and, and amen, the object, the subject, praise God, you have to try to hit the bullseye, amen, and no matter how many times that you try, praise God, it gets difficult and difficult, praise God. You might come close, but amen, you got to be, amen, an expert to just hit it right where you need to hit it, praise God. Come on, somebody, praise God. What I'm trying to say is a lot of things, praise God, come our way, praise God. Hallelujah. And may get in our way, praise God. But look to somebody and say, I'm aiming for something higher than what's going on. You got to aim high, my brothers and sisters, amen, because the devil job, praise God, is to, to distract you. The devil job is to intrude on you. The devil job is to in, intercept you, praise God, what God has for you, praise God. So the word says, praise God, amen. So if you are serious 
about living, amen, a godly life, you have to aim high. Come on, somebody, praise God, amen. I don't know like you, and you don't know like I do, praise God, but it's time for us to pursue, praise God, God, like we never did before. Too many things, amen, is coming unexpectedly, praise God, and we must be prepared for it. How, how do I get, be prepared for it, praise God? You have to aim high. Come on, somebody, praise God. You can't get caught up in what's everything going uh, 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 everything going around you, praise God. So much is happening, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. But if we aim high, we'll be all right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, praise God. It's time for you and I to aim high, praise God. The word said, praise God, if then we are, we are risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, praise God. Amen. All, oh, praise God, uh, believers, praise God, we are a new creature in Christ. That means we must have a new attitude. Come on, somebody. We have, must have a new look, praise God, on life. Come on, somebody, praise God. I'm not telling you to ignore, praise God, the, the surrounding, praise God. Hey, Amen. But you can't get caught up in what's going on. Come on, somebody. Amen. The enemy is to bring you down. Amen. The word is supposed to bring you up. Come on, somebody. So when we aim in high, praise God. Amen. We have him bound. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but I'm heaven bound, and I'm not going to let anything turn me around. Come on, somebody. Look to somebody and say, aim high. You have to realize God is first priority in your life. I say God is first priority in your life. Come on, somebody. Praise God. And what the enemy praise God, he wants, praise God, you to be last when God is telling you to be first. Now, come on, somebody. It's time for us to be above and not beneath. It's time for us to be the head and not the tail. Come on. Look to somebody and say, aim high. In Jesus, praise God. That makes the difference when you're aiming high. Somebody, praise God, said, well, I don't have a good aim, Pastor. Just aim as high as you can, praise God, and you might just hit the bullseye. Come on, somebody. But you got to aim somewhere. Time is at hand. You got to realize Christ is the foundation. Christ is the leader, praise God, in the highest authority on this earth. <laughs> Amen. You don't have to worry about what's going on on the earthly realm. God got that. I say, God got that, praise God. But God want to know, are you connected with him? Are you interested, praise God, in what he's doing, praise God? Our faith got to connect with God. I say, our faith got to connect with God. Come on, somebody, praise God. But amen, but it will never connect, praise God, if you're not aiming. You got to aim high. Come on, somebody, praise God. Amen, pursue, pursue the... Pursue the things over which Christ preside. Amen. I want to be able, I want to be where Christ preside. Amen. I want to take residence in the things of Christ. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Understand, praise God. I have a physical address, but I'm just passing through. I don't know about you. I'm just passing through this barren land. I got another home. Come on, somebody. I'm here to tell you that trouble don't last always. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, praise God. God got a mansion for me, waiting for me, praise God. And I'm aiming high. I don't know about you, praise God. But I'm trying to get to my, praise God, home that Jesus had prepared for me. Come on, somebody. It's time for us to aim high, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. And we realize, praise God, God has given us what it takes. Look at somebody say, God has given us what it takes, praise God. But first of all, we got to learn not to focus, praise God, on everything that's going on, praise God. Problems going to cure her. Problems going to come up, praise God. Hallelujah. But you got to focus on something bigger than your problem. You got to focus on bigger than what's on the earth. You got to focus, praise God, on godly. You got to focus on the godly thing. You got to focus on the things that which are in heaven. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. You got to focus on the spiritual thing. Praise God. The Bible says praise God. In the, in this, in the second verse. Set your minds on things, on things above and not things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ. For you died, amen. Come on, somebody. I'm a brand new, praise God. We got to think brand new. We got to conduct brand new. We Come on, somebody, praise God. Are you brand new? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, praise God. It's time for us, praise God. 
Hallelujah. The same thing has happened to us when we aim high. We keep, we keep the focus not on the things on earth, but the things which in heaven. And we keep our focus on Jesus and nothing else. Come on, somebody. When you're aiming high, praise God. My focus is on Jesus and nobody else. When my focus is on Jesus, Jesus give me joy. Joy in my heart. Smile on my face and bounce in my step. Come on, somebody. It's time for us to put some pep in our step. Come on, somebody. It's time for us to step on all that negativity. Come on, somebody. You have to wonder why things are happening the way it's happening. Because we are living in the last days. Amen. The Bible declares, praise God, when any Christ, amen, appears, you won't know him if you're not aiming high, praise God. Everything that's smiling, praise God. Everything, praise God, that seems good won't be good, praise God. You can't have an itching ear, praise God. You will be, amen, you will be lured away, praise God. With the itching ear. But we learn how to aim high and things will be all right, praise God. This is a journey that we're traveling, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Chaos is happening everywhere, praise God. But where are you setting your goal? Challenges going to happen, praise God. We are being challenged. We are being tested, praise God. And I told you before, tests are necessary. You must go through to get to. Come on, somebody, praise God. Hallelujah. But we understand, praise God. The word said, praise God. When Christ, who is our life, appeared, then so also we will appear with him in glory. Come on, somebody. You have to adjust yourself. You got to adjust yourself. Come on, somebody. You got to stay on course. Paul said, I finished. I finished my course. I fought a good fight, praise God. Amen. Just because you won your first match, amen, you're going to have another match and another match and another match. Somebody, praise God, done beat cancer. Somebody done beat diabetes. Somebody done beat this or that, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. But if we focus on God and we keep aiming high, let somebody say we'll be all right, praise God. Amen. We can't get caught up in the moment. We cannot get caught up in the moment. We cannot get comfortable, praise God. We can't have so much confidence that we get comfortable, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. We have to keep aiming, praise God. Amen. We got to keep fine, praise God. We must realize that God is the supreme, praise God. And Christ is the center, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. We got to aim for the center. We got to aim for the center. We realize that we are targets. We are targets. Every believer are target, amen, for the enemy. Every believer are target, praise God, for Satan, praise God. Hallelujah. And you have to understand the devil is aiming for you. The devil is aiming to kill you. The devil is aiming to destroy you. The devil is the day. Come on, somebody. But God, but God is saying, praise God, if you aim for me, I'm going to give you life. I'm going to give you life more abundantly, praise God. But you got to aim for me, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We got to aim to the highest, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The devil's job, praise God, is to give us anxiety. The devil's job, praise God, is to make you angry. The devil's job is to make you bitter and not better. The devil's job is to break you. Are you the devil's job is not to bless you? But I'm here to tell you, God wants to bless you, praise God. But God wants to know how you're aiming. How you're aiming, praise God. What you're aiming for, praise God. What are you aiming for? I heard the sister say, hey, grace and mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise God. What are you aiming for, praise God? Somebody going through something right now, and the devil wants to turn you around. The devil want to mess with your mind, because the mind is the enemy playground. But the Bible said it's time for praise God. Amen. You to think right. It's time for praise God. You to be encouraged, not discouraged. It's time for you to practice. Amen. What you've been preaching. Well, what are you talking about, Pastor Chapman? I'm talking about them things that you're speaking. I'm talking about them things, praise God, that you're exercising. I'm talking about the things, the song that you're singing. It's time, praise God, to bring it to life. Come on, somebody. It's time to know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on, somebody. God want to turn some things around in your life, praise God. But it's time for you. 
and I to aim high, praise God. And we cannot stop aiming, praise God, because you have to realize the enemy, praise God, is aiming to take your head off. Come on, somebody. Oh, but I'm here to tell you, praise God. I am aiming for the glory of God. I am aiming for victory. I am aiming to come out. Amen. Praise God from where I'm at. It's time to elevate. Come on, somebody. It's time to elevate your mind. Come on, somebody. I heard when I was in high school. Amen. The teacher told me, praise God, we had a little storm coming out. Praise God. And he told me, he said, well, where do you stay? Amen. I told him I stay on Brook Hill. He said, well, you stay on Safety Hill. I didn't even know where Safety Hill was. But I I want to say I thank God for safety here. I want to thank God for elevating me. Praise God. Hallelujah. When the storm is coming, sometimes we got to evacuate. But that's all right. Praise God. That's all right. Praise God. But God, I take you to a place. God, I take you to a hill. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Praise God. But what God does, man can't do it. Oh, I'm here to tell you. God, I take you to safety here come on somebody i'm not talking about a physical safety here but i'm talking about that safety here with inside of you come on somebody because great is he that's in you hallelujah god got you at all time praise god because i'm aiming high i'm aiming high i'm running i'm running oh and see what the end is gonna be i say we serve a mighty mighty good god who aiming high? Hallelujah. We got to be determined, praise God. We got to be determined. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elevation is necessary. And Paul is saying, elevate your mind. Set your mind on things above. We can caught up in all of this foolishness. The Bible says, forsake foolishness and live and go in to understand him. I got to elevate my mind. I ain't got time to be fighting with you about what colors to wear. I ain't got time to be a fighting up with you whether I'm a singer song. I ain't got time to be fighting with you whether you preaching or not. I ain't got time to be fighting with you who going to be the worship leader. You got to put your feelings to the side and elevate your mind and aim and aim and aim in the Lord bless his name my brother and sister we got to aim high and if you don't know how to aim help somebody come on somebody hey amen I ain't the best shooter uh oh Pastor Chapman I'm told on himself yes I do hey amen But we got to know how to aim, my brothers and sisters. Because we realize the enemy is aiming for you. So my job, I'm going to aim back. But I'm going to fight the enemy with love. I'm going to fight the enemy with joy. I'm going to fight the enemy with peace. I'm going to fight the enemy with long suffering. I'm going to fight the enemy with meekness. With gentleness, huh? hallelujah. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me, praise God. That's my weapon. Mess with me if you want to. I'll shoot some love at you. If you mess with me too much, praise God. Woo! Anybody ever shot some love at somebody? 357! Boom, boom, boom. L-O-V-E, love. I don't care how much you don't like me. I'm going to shoot love at you. Boom, boom, boom. If I keep loving you, two things. You're going to leave me alone. You're going to love me back. Boom, boom, boom. God is a good God. What are we aiming for? Forsake foolishness. The devil is aiming at us. But have you ever thought about Joel? You ever thought about Joel? God allowed the devil to aim at Joel. He said, have you not considered 
Unity? Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Have you not considered Sister Hernandez? Oh, she playing every Sunday. Oh, she playing to the glory of God. But God, let me tear her corner. Let me tear the roof off. And every bad thing that happened, you ain't always associate with the devil. God wants to see how you aim. Joe had a good attitude. Blessed the Lord that giveth and the Lord that taketh away. The enemy is aiming, but how we aiming back? We got to aim high. Michelle Obama said, when they go low, you go high. But how many Christians, they tried me. I hope you got your spiritual gun and not your physical gun. Uh-oh. I hope you pull out your spiritual gun and shoot some love on it, some joy, some long-suffering, some peakness, some meekness, some kindness. The Bible said, love and kindness have I drawn. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. Come on, somebody. If you don't like me, you just don't like me because I'm going to put some love on you. I'm going to saturate you with some love. Like that 30 pound grave sitting on that rice. Y'all ain't talking to me. I'm, I'm going to smother you with love. You got to smother your enemy with love. How are you aiming? We got to aim right. If I'm aiming right, the stronger I get. If I get so strong, I can't go wrong. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. David said, I encourage myself. Because he was aiming high. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You got to encourage yourself when you ain't got nobody around. Because sometimes it ain't just you and the Lord, but it's just you and the devil talking to you. Somebody told me this morning, encourage yourself. Don't let that get in your head. Come on, somebody. You have to realize when the enemy come and always giving you negativity, praise God. You have to realize it's not the individual, but it's that spirit that's trying to bring you down, trying to stump all over you. But God is saying, well, how are you aiming? Sister Floyd, keep aiming. Brother Floyd is in the hospital, but you got to keep aiming. When you go in that room, you got to smile. You can't go in that room with tears because you build him up. Look to somebody and say, help me. Yeah. Look to your neighbor and say, help me. Yeah. Aim high. Yeah. We got to aim high. Some of you don't even know how to hold your gun. Come on, somebody. It's a proper way to do things. Come on, somebody. But we have to aim high. I heard something on the prayer line about a week ago. Sometime I... I get on the prayer line a little late, hey man, sometimes I don't get on. And I heard somebody say, in order to have a good leader, you got to have good followers. And that didn't even, when I first heard it, I meditate on it. And that thing resonated in me. Hallelujah. Followers, you got to aim high if you want to help your leader. But some of us, we think earthly. We think, hey amen, I'm following the leader. You about to follow Jesus, then the leader. Uh-oh. How are you aiming? How are we aiming? How are we aiming? The Bible says, bring a child up in the way of the Lord. My boy looked like me. My girl looked like me. But I want them to act like Jesus. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Oh, yeah. Y'all ain't hearing me say it again. I said, my boy looked like me. My girl looked like me. But I want them to act like Jesus. Now, praise God, I, I, I wish I could have long hair like him, amen, but, but amen, but I thank the Lord, amen, for what I got. We have to aim high. Too many people are being destroyed because they're not aiming high. The enemy job is to get you so low till you can't come back. You can't return, but if you aim high, if you begin to think about heavenly things, praise God, 
And then when you get an unexpected blow, amen, it just brings you down a notch. But if you're already low and you get hit, look at somebody and say, you done. God said that your thoughts are not my thoughts. Huh? Your word is not my word, says the Lord. We got to let this mind be in us was also in Christ Jesus. When Jesus dwelled on this earth, his ministry for three years, he was aiming high. He had to. He was always being persecuted. Amen. Always being accused. Anybody ever been lied on? Anybody ever been talked about? Anybody ever been isolated? Well, look to somebody and say, but I'm still aiming high. Even though when they don't want to have nothing to do with me, I'm still aiming high. Come on, somebody. You have to aim high. How do I aim high? I got to think on heavenly things. I'm not saying that you, the Bible says, let no man think highly of himself that he ought to. Amen. That's self. Don't think highly of yourself that you ought to. But think on high things in heaven. What I'm saying, I'm thinking about Jesus. I'm thinking about godly things. I'm thinking about spiritual things. Come on, somebody. If you don't want to do, I'm going to do. Because I'm not doing it for man. I had to check myself last week. Y'all didn't hear me. I said, I had to check my, ain't nobody checking me. I had to check myself. I got one assignment to do. Amen. And I got so comfortable and so relaxed. And we get so caught up in habit and routine. And nobody don't want, want that to be disturbed. Amen. You got one assignment at job and all of a sudden Ian came and wiped that out. Now I get in my feelings. Can I talk about me? Oh, look at that. Amen. Oh, woo, woo. Got caught up in my feelings. Brand new truck gone. Simon gone. Now they bouncing me from here to there to there to there. I'm saying, my Lord. But then I had to remind myself, I have to aim high. I got to aim high. Because I got to realize God got this. All this earthly stuff, God got this. He made it. He created it. It's all his. So why am I complaining? Amen. Sister Owen, when I changed my attitude, guess what? Things changed for me. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. And then what am I crying about? The money's still the same. The kind of God that we serve. We upset because we can't have our way. But I want to be in the way of God. I want to be in his will. Look at somebody say, in his will. The only way you're going to be in his will, you got to keep aiming high. You have to walk in the spirit. Well, why I walk in the spirit? Because I am in the spirit. We have to walk in the spirit of God at all times. This is how you aim in high. You have to walk in the spirit of God. When you're not walking in the spirit of God, you're not aiming high. Amen. Brother Jan, need you on the drum. Brother Sister Joanna, need you on the piano. Just for a moment. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say keep aiming. Keep aiming. High. high. See, I aim high with this lady right here. I, I aim, I'm aiming. Somebody say thank you, Lord. How many know God got a blessing for you? How many know that you know that you know that you know? Listen, how you God got a blessing for you. Sister Richard, God got a blessing for you. Choir God got a blessing for you. Unity God got a blessing for you. Look to your neighbor and say, you are a blessing. And then look back and say, you are my blessing. Mr. Whitney, you are my blessing. Sister Johnson, you are my blessing. Deep, you are my blessing. You are my blessing. You are my blessing. You are my blessing. Brother, pray you are my blessing. 
So the time you are my blessing. All of you are my blessing. And we all got a blessing from God. But look to somebody and say, you, say, you can't have it till you reach out and grab it. Oh, you can't have it till you reach out and grab it. Oh, oh you can't have it till you reach out and have it. God got a blessing for you. Mm, 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 mm. God got a blessing for you. Woo! God got a blessing for you. And now, now you can't have it till you reach out and grab it. But God got a blessing for you. Oh, God got a blessing for you. Woo! God got a blessing for you. Now, now, now you can't have it till you reach out and grab it. But God got a blessing for you. You know he got love. He got love. Now, 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 you can't have it to reach out and grab it. But God got a blessing to you. Tell our devil, say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Going in. Coming out. I know I'm blessed. Listen, God got a blessing for you. God got a blessing for you. Now, 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 you can't have it to you. One more time. Now. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Are you blessed? I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Are you blessed? Tell that devil, tell that devil, I know I'm blessed. Coming in, going out, I know I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Woo! Pull it down. Everything you want from God, begin to pull it down. Pull it down. Everything in heaven. Pull down your finances. Pull down your love. Pull on your healing. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. God got a blessing for you. You can't have it till you reach up and grab it. God got a blessing for you. God got a blessing for you. God got a blessing for you. God got a blessing. You got a blessing for you. You can't have it till you reach up and grab it. But God got a blessing for you. One more time. You can't have it till you reach up and grab it. But God got a blessing for you. Woo! I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I know I'm blessed. Going in. Coming out. I know I'm blessed. My church is blessed. My church is blessed. Woo! Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. There's something inside of you. 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 It's greater than you know. Everything you need is within you. Because God is in you. Come on, somebody. I said, let me say it again, my children, let me talk to these children just for a moment. Everything inside of these children is already in you. You can make better grades. Come on, somebody. You can behave better. Come on, somebody. Amen. You can get along with others because it's already in you. All the Sunday school been putting in you. Uh, come on, somebody. It's in you. All you got to do is bring it out. 
Bring it out. Hallelujah. God is good. Hello, beautiful. You're blessed. You know you're blessed? Hallelujah. I love that. Brother, pray. You know you're blessed? Huh? Tab, you know you're blessed? Come here, beautiful. Amen. You know why I say beautiful? Because they are. They're God creation. But my wife is beautiful. How you doing? Amen. Love you. Love you, Sister Blank. Love all of you. Sister Brown, you let my brother Terrence, God got a blessing for him. But the thing about it, he got to reach up and grab it. See, we wait, we wait, we are waiting for things to happen and it already done happen. Let me say it again. It's already done happen. It's already done happen. Come on, somebody. It's inside of you. God has given you a talent. Use it. That's why you're back. I've been praying, and after we talked, I knew he's coming back. That's why I practiced my song. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is a good God. God, heaven, is a place for prepared people. Now, you need to ask yourself, are you prepared? Let me say it again. Heaven is a place for prepared people. Are you prepared? I want to be prepared. I don't know when he's coming. I don't know when that knock going to come, but I want to be ready. Now, I like to look good. I like to feel good. I like to be good, and I love to eat good. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. I'm just being honest. But if I'm having to be at Golden Corral eating and God coming, that's all right. But I'm ready. Know why I'm ready? Because my mind is ready. Because my mind is always aiming high. My mind is always, always about heavenly things. I cannot get caught up in this or that. If I do, I do it for a moment and I move on. I'm not finna argue with my wife all night about something. No. I done grow beyond that. If you burnt the rice, you just burnt the rice. Let's move on. I ain't burnt no rice. <laughs> somebody say, thank you, good Lord. God is good. Listen, there might be somebody who don't know, Lord, know the Lord, Lord and Savior. Amen. This is your time to get to know him for yourself. Hallelujah. God is a good God. I encourage all of us, praise God, to open up our heart, open up our mind, and let the King of Kings come in. Come on and stand to your feet, praise God. I don't want to take it for granted, amen, that everybody know the Lord, have a personal relationship with them, praise God, but amen. I pray that all of unity children know God for themselves. Amen. If you're not sure, if you want to de dedicate or rededicate yourself, you can at this time. Mr. Long, could you come and stand with me? Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is a good God. No God for yourself. Nobody can fix your mind on whatever. You got to set your mind, set your own mind on the things of God. I can only encourage you. But I pray, praise God, we set our mind on things above. Diggy Mahone, come and join me, brother. Somebody say thank you, Lord. The doors of the church is open. You may not have a church home. This is the time. Amen. This place is good enough for me, so I pray that it's good enough for you. Amen. Somebody may have a special prayer, a special need. Come here, Sister Floyd. Come on around. Amen. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Brother Floyd is in the hospital. Amen. I'm going to go see him right after service. Amen. I've talked to him, praise God, but amen. We want to encourage, amen, Sister Floyd, and then I'm going to go out and encourage Brother Floyd. Amen. That his mind continually, praise God, be set on things above. Hallelujah. God is a good God. There's no time for messing around. Mother Crawford, we're on the mothership, and it's sailing. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, come and stand right here. Come and stand right here, Bobby. Amen. Reconnect it, reconnect it, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God, for all these children that's coming. Amen. I need to wipe my eyes. My eyes are burning. I got it, I got it. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Those that want... 
Amen. I need to know what everybody here for. Amen. What you here for, my darling? Prayer. 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 Hallelujah. What you here for, son? Prayer. 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 Reconnect. Amen. Come here. Come here, brother Terrence. Come here. Somebody say thank you, Lord. This is my man. This is my man. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You mind hanging out with me sometime? Just me and you? Yeah. Okay, you had to prove all your pants, okay? You like to eat? Mm -hmm. I like to eat too. <laughs> Amen. 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 We're going to have some lunch together, all right? What you like to eat? Oh, cheap burger. Okay. All right. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Those that are those that are the divine, just prayer. Amen. Could you just step a little bit forward? Just prayer. No, no, brother Jane, you you, you reconnect then. Those that want prayer. Amen. Just prayer. Amen. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come here, Deacon. Amen. Have all prayer. Put your hand right here. Come here, Deacon Long. Come in, Minister Long. Touch, touch my brother right here. Amen. You got to lead me to do this, and I got to do this. Amen. That's all right. Amen. Father God, right now, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for my brother Terrence right now. Lord God, I ask you right now to touch his mind. Move in his heart, Father God. We know his heart is already made up. Oh, yeah. But Lord, we want you to touch that mind right now. Yes, because yes, you said a mind that stayed on you. Yes, you would give him perfect peace. So Lord, we ask you, Father God, to let him arrest every, every good thought that's in his mind right now. And move every negative thought out of his mind right yes, now, Lord. Yes, and let his mind be set on you right now, Father God. Give him peace in the mind, Father God. Let that mind line up with that heart right now. He gave his life to you. Don't turn it around. We know he's heaven bound, but realize the enemy wants to sneak in sometime and tell him this or that. Let him know, Father God, that he is somebody. Yes, he's Lord. worthy. Yes, oh, Father yes. God, he's a blessing. Yes. Oh, Father God. We're here to just give him inspiration to move forward. Oh, Father God, bless him right now. Yes, bless everything that come toward him right now and everything that's negative, Father God. Give him the power to tell the devil no in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. I need a sister. Come here. I need, I need a sister to stand with Sister Floyd. Come here. Come here. Come here, Sister Floyd. A sister, come on. Amen. Right here, right here. She want to stand with Sister Norm? Stand with him. Hallelujah. You might have put my hand on the shoulder. Father God, right now, Lord, we thank you for Sister Floyd right now. We standing in the gap right now for, for Brother Floyd, hospital right now. Father God, we ask you to, Father God, encourage her mind right now. Lift her up right now. Turn her around right now. Father God, let her, when she walk in that hospital room, be an encouraged to Brother Floyd right now, Father God. Let her be an inspiration, Father God. Do it right now, God. Oh, God, right now, God. Oh, Father God, you should have blessed him, Father God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Father God, move in this family behalf right now. Father God, we touch and agree, and, and Father God, we realize that your presence is already here. So we give you praise, honor, and glory for it right now because we know that you are God. God. We know that you're God and you're a healer right now. So we thank you for healing his body right now, Father God. Put that blessing in the storm right now. She has the power in the mind to pull down her blessing right now. So Father God, we ask you, Lord, oh Lord, to grant it in Jesus' name. Amen. All those that, amen, desire prayer, amen, connect with somebody. Just grab somebody's hand. Sister, you want something special? What you want, darling? Amen, amen. Everybody connect with somebody right now. Amen. Where's my minister? Where's my minister? Hallelujah. Give me a hand. Father God, right now. Those are around the altar right now. They done brought it to you right now. Father God, I pray right now. If the enemy begin to speak to their mind, Father God, let them lay it at the altar right now, Father God. Leave it on the altar and think about it no more. You got all power, restoration power, Father God. We believe that Jesus was buried, Father God, and he rose. And he rose with all power. And he gave us the power, Father God, to think right, to do right. So, Lord, right now, those that want prayer over their life right now, we realize they got to lose it in order to gain it. We realize the word say we were risen with Christ. We are hidden in Christ. So we thank you for it right now. Oh, we ask you right now to elevate their mind right now, Father God, into a place, Father God, of peace right now. Oh, God, we thank you for healing right now. We thank you for the blessing right now. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. It is settled in Jesus' name. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, bless them. Bless them if they give you praise, God. Bless them, Lord, if they give you praise right now. Bless them if they give you praise right now. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Brother Jane, what's your last name? Lyman. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. We thank God for your, 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 your conversation. Amen. It's our business. It's our business. Amen. But I thank God that you're willing to do it before the church. Amen. And that what counts. Amen. 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 First of all, I want to say welcome home. Amen. Amen. Realizing. <laughs> realizing, amen, rededication is very, very important. But it's also serious business. Amen. I pray you ain't just doing this for me. I pray you ain't just doing this for your mama. Your parents. You hear me? Amen. I pray that you're doing this for God. Amen. This is what it's all about. Church business is serious business. We want to be about our father's business. Amen. If you can't make it, let me know. If you can't make it, you know, let somebody know. Amen. Amen. It's important. Amen. Because no fellowship, no relationship. Amen. Amen. It's important. And let me tell you, your presence means more here than you'll ever know. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Now, I don't know the protocol, amen, how to do things, but it's between you and God. Amen. But I want you to repeat that to me. To Father, Father you, know you know my heart. My heart. I, believe I believe that you, that you want me to use, to use my ability, my, ability, my, talent, my talent, my gift, my gift for, unity, for unity, Christian, Christian church, church disciples, disciples of Christ, of Christ Fort, Myers, Florida, Fort Myers, Florida, under the leadership, under leadership of Pastor of Anthony, Anthony Alston Chap Chap Chapman. Amen. 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 We're moving forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody say thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is a good God. Young people, keep your mind right. And when you're in trouble, amen, talk to your mothers. Amen. Don't hold nothing back. They've been there. Are y'all hearing me? They've been there. Don't keep no secrets from your mothers. Amen. Amen. You older women, you talk to God. Amen. Or either, either, either minister Whitney, praise God. Amen. You can talk to me, but you got to talk to me in the presence of a woman. Amen. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We're getting ready for our Holy Commune. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for all of you. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Those that are on the floor, amen, please join us. As we come to the Lord's table, it's not my table, it is the Lord. He told us through his word, as often as we do this, do it in remembrance of him that show forth his death and suffering till he come again. So I look at this as a memorial service. Remembering the sacrifice that Jesus did for us. How he allowed them to spit upon him. How he was marched 
from hall to hall. How he took the cross on his shoulder and went up to a hill called Golgotha. How he allowed them to stretch and wide. Put nails in his hand and they ribbed his feet. They picked him up between heaven and earth where he laid his head in the locks of his shoulder. He died. Jesus died. And that's why and he said as often as we do this, to remember that Jesus died for us. But he also want us to remember as they put him in the grave, three days later, he got up. He got up, and when he got up, he declared that he had all power. So we can remember the sacrifice. Remember that he got up. Remember that he has all power. And remember that we serve a living God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. not a dead God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as we I go to God, we don't have the prayer over the loaf and the cup. Thank you for this bread. We ask you to bless it, Lord. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. And we ask you to bless us. Bless us again. Amen. Amen. Father God, we thank you for that special gift, Mary Baby, that you sent down 42 generations that we may have the way back to you. God, if we partake of your broken body, spilled blood, we ask, oh God, that you touch our heart and our mind. Anything, oh God, that you found unpleased in your sight, oh God, don't blame it on our mind, just blame, don't blame our heart, the mind, but blame on the heart. Father God, we ask, oh God, that you continue to keep us and hold us as we partake of your broken body and spilled blood. And we do this in the name of Christ, we pray, amen. Amen.
Jesus was in the upper room with his disciples eating his final Passover meal. After he finished the meal, Jesus took a loaf of bread and blessed it. And he broke it and said, this is my body broken for you. If often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. And they all ate together. Likewise, he took the cup and he blessed it. And he said, this is the New Testament in my blood. If often now she would do this, do it in remembrance of me, and they all drink it together. After supper, they sang a hymn, went out to the Mount of Olives. We don't have a Mount of Olives to go out to, but we encourage you, wherever you go, make sure you take the Lord with you. And don't forget to aim high. Yes, sir. Aim high. <laughs>